What is up, my stinky YouTube troglodytes? Uh, I figured a lot of people ask me, you know, how you've been making your money on, on your scav runs there, Spectrum, or what's your, what's your loot run on streets? So I just figured I'd make a quick video going over a loot run that you can do on either your PMC or your scav. It doesn't matter. I usually do it on my scav just because streets doesn't run very well for me. So, you know, I don't really like risking PMC kits on streets, so... If you like what you see, if it helps you out, uh, drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, and let's get into the video. Alright, so the run starts here in front of uh, Chicania 15, which is, there's Lexos, there's construction, Chicania's right here, this is the front entrance. You run in, open the door, the only other entrance is right there. There's a food spawn, which can be moonshine right there. Any food or alcohol spawn can be a moonshine spawn. Food spawns back here. First rare spawn of the run is right where my laser is. There's a body there. Spawns on the shelves and those shelves. Food spawns on these shelves. Uh, tech spawns right there. And there apparently, below. Rare spawn in this box. I see a suitcase and there's another tech spawn there. Food spawns back in this corner and there. Rare spawn on that box my laser's pointed on. On that shelf. X spawns on this desk. Rare spawn where that teapot is right there. So we'll grab that just to show how many rare spawns I actually get in this run. This could be moonshine. Any of these food spawns could be moonshine. And there's a technical spawn in this box that a lot of people miss. You can use your white dot, the perception dot, to see if it's there. Med spawns back there, I usually skip them. Tech spawn here, here, and in there, and on the ground there. And then food spawns all along here. Rare spawn down in this box, nothing there. Ammo and food spawns down here as well. Food spawns here and here. Here and here. And if you have the keys on your PMC, you can open all these doors and there's more rare spawns, food spawn there. If you're on your scav run, you come down here, drop down to second. Uh, there's also the, the main room in this building is down there, you have to lay under that. Food spawns in this room. I don't usually find anything good. Here, here, there's food spawns. There's a rare spawn there, apparently. Alcohol spawn. Ammo spawns in here, tech spawns on there, and then tech spawn up here, down here, and in this corner. Boot down this door, and we're done with the Chikanya portion of here, so you just run out. If you, uh, if you're not confident in your ability to PvP, I'd skip Chikanya and just run straight through it, out the back immediately. Because this is like the hottest spot on streets. If you're on your scab, I really like to do this funny little trick where you run all the way through here over to the back of the pub. There's also an alcohol spawn in here. You run through this gate. You run over to the left here. And this is the back of the pub where the skybridge key spawns. I always see it here. It has other spawns, but I, I've never not seen it there. It's, I've only ever seen the key in that spot. Food spawn on that shelf and up, up above. And then you run here. Jump on top of this dumpster. Jump on top of the shed. And then drop down. And you run up here. Open this door. This is also a very hot building. This is the uh, Chikanya Apartments. You run all the way up to the top. Open this door. And then this is the key. And all the rare spawns are in the bedroom, I believe. Except for one above the fireplace. One up there. Hex spawn there and there. Rare spawn on the chair. Couple rare spawns on the bed, one there. One there, and one there. Make sure you use your perception dot, because if it's a Bitcoin, it'll be clipped into the sheets. 
And there's two rare spawns here, one in the middle, one on the left. After that, you run back down, all the way through the top floor. Look on these shelves. There's some. There's a lot of static spawns here for good stuff like defuel and condensed milk. And then you run in here, drop down. Now you're on second. Rare spawn in this book. In this thing. Where is it? Am I getting it? I have a perception dot like there's something here, but I'm not seeing the thing. I'm very confused. Gotta be like a skull or a bitcoin or something. Well, there's something there. There's also one right there. I have no idea. I've never not been able to get it before. So can I see it underneath? I can't even see it underneath. I think it might be invisible. Or it's actually like properly clipped in. Anyway, rare spawn here, rare spawn here, rare spawn on the ground there. And there's one more right here. And there's also food spawns in this room. Then you run back down this ramp, drop down. Keep in mind, there's spawns along all these places and on these shelves. Then you come out here. And this is the end of the run if you're on your scab, basically. You just come out these doors. Loot this last building here. There's a rare spawn on the ground here, and there's a rare spawn in this box. There's a bunch of industrial spawns back here. And there's one more rare spawn in this room. On this shelf. And there's food and alcohol spawns in here as well, as well as a duffel. And dead scav and another duffel. If you're on your scav, this is your extract, just drop down there. If you're on your PMC, run through this building out to the main street, and then you'll see pine wood, and then you just go take the green flare extract. And that's it for the run. Thanks for watching.